It's almost funny that uh, I called this a bushcraft video and I don't think I've used an ax a single time yet. As I still I'm not going to use it yet. I didn't really take much off this one. And it quit raining for now. Woo! Wetting up a storm. Oh, that was so much so much more tiring than I thought it was gonna be. I am drenched in sweat, it is running down me. It's not even from the rain why I'm soaked. Uh, it was honestly a good little walk up there and some of these were not light, so I'm getting out of here. I'm not recording anything else. I'm just packing up and running. All right, I'm back out here. It has been two days since my previous clip out here. Um, it's Sunday, so like always, I'm gonna try and get out of here by noon to watch the games. I've managed to enlist some help from my younger brother, Zach. He decided to make a trip down here. And the plan today is just keep chopping wood. So, um, yeah. So I'll need this side to push into this mud. Um, later on, I'll probably add more mud to make sure it all stays covered. And then um, on this side, I'll probably cut it about probably this length so that it's uh, make sure it's not too short for the wall over here. So that's probably what I'll do. Like that. There you go. Hey, I can get the hang of it. Yeah. Before we measure, gotta get the knob off. Nothing better than getting your knob off. And if you're watching this, I'm sure you've got plenty of comments about how wrong we're doing this, but it's somewhat working so far, kinda. Just kick that, yeah. 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 All right, as you can see, um, this log is a lot thinner and not so perfect on the top. So even before measuring this, I think we're probably going to cut it probably right. Well, shoot, I guess we might just measure it as it is. I thought we'd be able to get two logs out of this um, tree, but it looks like it's going to be not, not thick enough throughout the whole length of it. Measuring down on the other side. Probably wanna get right here. You wanna hand me that saw, Zach? Yeah. Cool. So, looks like I'll start right there. As I'm getting farther and farther through this pile, these trees are turning out to not all be as straight as I thought they were. Yeah. We've got a decent system going. Zach's been taking the knobs off of them after I get done cutting them. So 
Oh yeah, not bad. Making pretty good progress. Let me tell you, see Mike, you're not feeling very good. Parts everything in case they go down so they know what happened. Shit like that. Too bad for that. I don't feel like many of the people who were on the plane were having conversations with the pilot. Uh, I would assume not. I would assume when you're like super rich. Probably. I don't know. talks about it in the textbook. It's a big part of it. He's the one who there's the painting of him like before he has to kill himself. Is that him? Yeah, he had to drink hemlock. Yeah. For uh, corrupting the youth of Athens. Thing too, you have to keep him up. You gotta make sure the weight where it needs to be. <laughs> oh, honestly, the better use of my time right now would be going and getting more wood while there's still the two of us uh, to carry. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, that's what we should do. Yeah. One of those uh, thorn berry bushes. Yeah, that is like a full bush. All right, before I get out of here, I'm gonna show you a quick rundown of what everything looks like. Um, wood stove pile's getting bigger. These are logs that look like they're straight enough, strong enough to build with, but I don't really have a use for them yet because they're too um, short to be on the wall I'm working on now. So we'll find a use for them later. Um, over here, a little scrap pile, you know, a little tinder kindling pile's getting bigger. Over here, we've got two logs of about the same nature. Don't really know what I want to do with them yet, um, but they look useful and straight enough. 
these these are logs that have been processed down cut and they are ready to go on the wall these are logs that are hopefully going to be ready to go on the wall but need cut up processed down and all that good junk and then we've got just our nice outdoor burn pile getting ready all right oh you can actually see i got caught in the eye earlier with a little uh um branch it's been kind of hurting but other than that we're packed up we're getting out of here we're gonna go watch some football My plan for today was just to keep processing these logs down for the back wall but as I was doing that I found a log that looked like it would be really good for a support pole so I ended up putting that down and it fit well so then I thought I might as well find another one I found another one but then I also found a nice pole to go straight across so the only other thing I would need for the back wall for a support beam to go diagonally right here across on both sides
I'm definitely not going to keep it like this, but just so I can kind of get a look at it, I'm going to keep it like this for now. Just my first reactions from setting this up to do like a little blind test look at it. Um, this pole needs shortened down because the other pole is on the lower part of the foundation. Then other than that, once I sharpen out the ends of them, pound them into the ground, I don't really see any other issues currently. I'm sure more will arise, but it seems fairly okay for me for now. All right, I've tried to kind of spike out the bottoms of these to make them easier to stab into the ground. I didn't do the best job, but better than nothing. It seems like it probably would have been easier to just use the saw from the start. I gotta say, I knew that this was gonna take a good amount of time and effort, but I did not think it would take so long to... My hand is so friggin' tight from sawing all day. That's why I've been trying to switch off with my left arm.
starting to get a little chilly. All right, I've said this to myself many times before, but I truly believe at this time. Um, after today, I really feel comfortable to make my next trip out here a camp out. So I think starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be looking ahead about what days I can take off work. And then I'm hoping to be able to get five nights out here where I will make this back wall. I'll use a tarp over the top and then I'll use the hot stove inside it to keep warm. And yeah, honestly, I think we're ready.